thought it was finally time for you guys to come and see a little bit about the ESM's home base. You know, after a few months, ever since really December of looking in a, a working in a makeshift type area, we finally moved into the main workshop and have really, after the last few weeks, gotten ourselves very organized. Well, on this side of the, the main workshop, we have a, a whole gearbox, rear end, rear uh, differential area uh, that basically Marty uh, runs. Sort of we have an opportunity, an extra bay there where we use for a pit setup. Obviously, we've been working on uh, pit stops, fuel fill, that kind of thing. And then, of course, over there is the main bays of the workshop for the two cars. The guys can be working together, all the parts put on the shelves, toolboxes and needed supplies are behind them. Uh, very well laid out. Tell us what, what this whole system comprises here. What do we have on the monitors and stuff, Bobby? Well, right now we're setting up for a test day at, at uh, Palm Beach International Raceway. Um, as you can see right here, we have telemetry for the car that we're setting up. So uh, when we're testing on the track and the car is driving around the track, we can watch what the car is doing. We can watch the driver hit the brake pedal, turn the steering wheel, hit the, thr the throttle. And basically what we can do with that is we can coach the driver, tell them, you know, you can brake a little bit later in this corner, you can accelerate a little bit sooner in this corner. Well, as I mentioned a minute ago, here's the two sort of main bays where the cars get serviced, prepped for the races. I will walk over to Matt, who's the uh, crew chief on the O2 car. Tell us really, Matt, what sort of goes on here? I mean, obviously right now we're on scale pads, getting ready for the final setup, but what happens in this sort of bay race to race? Race to race, uh, disassembling the car, um, inspecting it, going over any sort of damage, um, modifications, um, just general maintenance and working on the car. Very good. Now, obviously, right now you guys are sort of doing final prep, final setup, so you have a full scale pad built right into the, the, the mat here. That's pretty trick. <laughs> oh, without a doubt. It makes, it's ease for, it's, uh, ease for setup. Uh, it makes the uh, turnaround a lot faster, quicker, and uh, more consistent. And that's the main thing is doing consistency. Absolutely. Very good. Here we have one of the uh, race transporters. This is a T6 Kenworth, uh, 600, 550 horsepower. It is uh, 07. It's one of our two transporters we use to transport the trailers to the tracks. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of power and it's really nice to drive on the road. Um, basically, it's a very important part of the logistics of the whole setup, as you can see from here. Welcome to our machine shop. Um, we have some pretty sophisticated machines here. Um, some lathes and mills where we can pretty much manufacture anything for the car itself. Um, we have a welding bay here, which we can weld up and repair any damaged parts that we, uh, that we have or even make, make some new parts. Um, obviously there's some grinding machines and um, band saws and whatever just for cutting up material and that sort of thing. And basically the rest of the sort of stuff here is, is fabrication tools so we can again manufacture any kind of bracket, um, machine piece or whatever for the car itself. Patron Race fans, this is sort of a, an early view of home base. Uh, we're still setting up, we're still getting organized, but luckily we're finally in and the guys are being able to properly prepare the car, properly find each piece they need. But as, as, as you see over the next few months, you're going to see, I think, things really come together, a lot more graphics, meet more of the guys, see our conference room fully finished, our offices. It's all going to come together and we look forward to sharing it with you.